What's up guys? Different video today because this new Warzone update is probably going to save this game. So I'm just going to go over everything real quick and let's get to it. All right, let's see. All right, so now first, Sherrick released Rank Play, new background updates for Rank Play matchmaking. Similar, similar divisions, probably solo queue, stuff like that. I don't know, I don't play rank that much. Gunfight is going to be alley, black site, shipment, and exhibit. Now, it's just going to be cut up pieces of smaller maps that we have already in the game. So, nothing from the ground up yet, hopefully, so that changes. Uh, new maps, Paleo's Lighthouse, which was in the intervention trailer. Black Gold, which I haven't seen. Afghan and Oil Field, which will be from, for ground war only, which sucks because Afghan should be 6v6. And Aliborn Hatchway reloaded. Hilaria and Alejandro are the new operators. We know them from the storyline, obviously. PC players will have Discord integration in the game starting with Season 3, so that'd be interesting to see because it's better than just having the extra app open. You can just have it in the game, so that'd be different. This is cool because Black Cell is like bonus content for the Battle Pass. So like how Fortnite has bonus rewards after you hit Tier 100, you can buy more of this. So, as part of this 29 MSRP after in Black Cell will include over 7,000 COD points of value. And it'll include the original Battle Pass along with exclusive content. You get the full Season 3 Battle Pass, 25 tier skips on PlayStation, 20 tier skips regular, 1,100 COD points into the reward, 1,400 COD points awarded through the Battle Pass, Black Cell Operator, which looks really nice, animated camel skin, Pro Tune Weapon Blueprint Vehicles and Finishing Move, Black Cell Sector within the Battle Pass, Yumi Unlocking of other Jason Black, Let's see how that works in the, when it comes out. And I believe that these black cells are going to be for the uh, 141 operators because we have new battle passes instead of just like the same skin that we've been getting. It's actually going to be 141's operators. Face off is also coming out from Modern Warfare 3, so that'd be interesting. Sometime during the mid season update. New prestiges, so I think it'll be six, seven, eight, nine, I believe. No, now like 10, 11, 12, it's nine or 13, I'm not sure. New bundles, esports is now going to be on youth, both YouTube and Twitch at the same time, so that's interesting. This is the battle pass up for Black Cell, pretty decent skin, so my wallet's gonna be different with that. So that looks interesting in itself. Black Sight is the new Gulag, and it's a new gunfight map too. Ground War Infected is coming, so that's going to be interesting. New ranked play rewards. So you got all these. You get this dog, and you get all these nice emblems, Iridescent, Crimson, Platinum and Diamond, Top 250, and this nice Pro Issue Blueprint. 66 map, new special operations, new raid for Reloaded. Warzone changes, which are the big ones. Another addition to loot pool. Perk packages, so lootable perks again. Deployable buy stations you can get. Gulag entry kit. And so you can, it's like a, a second chance in the Gulag, so that'd be interesting in itself enough. World Series of Warzone is back, and I think they're going to be doing an actual, a global land now. Because COVID's finally out of the uh, thing. Yep, and Activision will be it'll be playing on the Warzone rank settings, and there's gonna be anti-cheat in the event, so hopefully no one's cheating at home, so there'll be no none of that. So Ricochet is in full effect. Recruit a friend is like you get someone to play the game. It's like refer a friend for like cash or something like that. You get how many people you get to play. You get all these different rewards: Hurricane, I think X12 Akimbo's, double XP calling cards, emblems, stuff like that. This is the full. Roadmap, which is nice because you plunder's finally back. Warzone ranked is back, massive resurgence, so it's gonna be it's gonna be Warzone resurgence, but bigger. So it goes to the max. DMZ new missions. It's gonna have the workbench like from the raids, active duty slots, barter, new backpack, free deploy drones, tempered plate carrier, UAV towers, new gulag, deployable buy station, perk packages, 
the Black Cell 141 operator, so now you don't have to freaking buy the deluxe edition of the game if you want to get Ghost Price, Soap, and Farah. Nope, you can just get these right here in the Atkins. The Intervention, which I'm excited for. Cronin Squall, whatever that, I think that's going to be an AR, looks like an AR and LMG. This will be a fun thing when this comes out, I don't know what that's going to be. Alejandro Varelia, Varelia, sorry. Trophy Hunt, new camos coming out for that, so, so just like the, uh, just like the Flower Blossom Cannibals, we'll be good to that. Classic Ghost will be coming back too. And these are the new maps. Again, Paleos, Black Gold, City Cave, Rohan, and Eldorin. Hatchery, New Raid, Co-op, Ground War Infected, Cranked is back, which is fun. And these are the gunfight maps. Uh, new quality of life features too. Now, there's also this, which I found, which, um, hold on, I have to go to my profile for this, because I saw that Ghost of Hope, post, like, in addition to blog posts about featured seasonal content, the Call of Duty Studios will release patch notes that detail all the changes coming with this major seasonal update. Patch notes will include weapon balancing updates such as a crucial change to sniper rifles, so hopefully one-shot snipers finally come back so we don't have to freaking worry about a two-shot intervention, which would be horrible, as well as bug fixes as well. There's a lot of things going on with, like, the TDK and stuff like that, so... Yeah, we'll see, like, on swag... For swag, there's like no TTK movement updates, and then there's so hopefully that's going to be coming out soon. And Joe also freaking put out that movement updates are probably saved because he just tweeted that Warzone didn't save, and you know he's the movement king, so you know you never know. So, but other than that, that's pretty much it for that. I just want to go over all these new notes. And how excited I am for this update. I want to put some content out today because I'm going to be doing some busy stuff this weekend. And I just want to go with Easter and all that. So I want to give you guys something to watch and just to keep active with. So if you guys like this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow the Twitch, follow Kick. We're going to be going over there very soon. We're at 38 followers, I think, now out of 75. So let's hit affiliate with that. And all the support I've been getting with like the shorts and stuff is really appreciated. Follow TikTok, all that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.